It's DD and I'm back today with another DoorDash video. Huge shout out to everybody tuning in. If you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe And If you are subscribed, I need everybody to stop right now and go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let's see if we can get to 50 likes this video. This is part two of getting my acceptance rate up. Yesterday, I went from 16% to 41%, so we did pretty well. I think those Walmart orders really helped me a lot. Speaking of Walmart, we have a Walmart order right now that we're gonna go pick up. I don't know if it's an apartment. I don't know nothing about it. All I know is it's 9.50. I don't even know the mileage because they didn't tell me. But let's get to this money. Oh, with the groceries. It's a good amount, but it's not an apartment. We do have one thing of water. So, that's not that bad. I don't know if to get busy though. That's next for us. For the drivers. Nice. Hello. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Want a snack? You guys take one. Oh, I'll take one. I'll yeah. take one for you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good holiday. You too. Supposed to be 9.50, we got $14. That's what I, now that's how a Walmart order is supposed to be done, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get to it. Here are two Walmart orders for $7. 66 items, 6.1 miles. Unfortunately, we're going to take this one. They got good stuff. They got milk, pops, everything. This is all the stuff they got. Oh, mm. Now they want that photo, but y'all already know though. I'm running doorbell and everything. Don't want to ask. They got the kids running around. Getting busy. Here we go. As you guys can see, 375 is the base pay zero tip. Yes, they do. House number two. The bus getting took up top. The first house gave us zero tip. We only got the base pay from DoorDash. But I'm doing this all for a reason, guys. So being successful, you're gonna have to go through some trials and tribulations. You're gonna have to go through some sacrifices and all of that stuff if you really want to, you know, get to that next level. It's called growing pain. This is one of them dealing with this nonsense so later on I don't have to deal with it anymore once I get that high completion rate I mean acceptance rate let's go first trip Four miles for 525. Let's do it. Hello. Hi. I'm having DoorDash for JJM. Can I have your initials, please? Hello, JJ. This is Jerome with DoorDash. I'm here with your Wingstop order. But I'm not sure exactly uh -huh. which building to go in. Is it? Oh, okay. so you uh, you passed by us? Did you see the roundabout with the flagpole? A roundabout with the flagpole. It's where the main is. Okay. Emergency. Yeah, we're here by the emergency room. Oh, by the emergency room. Okay. Yep. All right. Thank you. All right. No problem. Bye bye. Thank I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna grab your food out of here. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you. So Have much. a great day. Have a good one. Have a good one. It's five miles, 625. Let's do it. They added another one on wing stop for 1.5 miles for four hours. I guess we're taking that too. Drive through the lobby is closed. Pick this filled up. Let's get it. I'm back again. Um, Don't ask for Rebay P. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Do I understand? Oh, I see you dropping off this food. 
with this one in the high school I went to. I'm in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I ain't been here in so many years. Cause I'm an old man now, so. Lock this one up. Let me call her. Um, hello, this is Jerome with DoorDash. I'm here with your order, but I don't, I'm not sure which door to go to. Hi, um, you're gonna go to the main entrance door. Um, there's like a, a sign for the high school right outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm at the main door, but then the door is locked. Oh, okay, give me two seconds, I'll be right there. Oh, they, someone is over there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna meet you at that front security desk. Okay, thank you. No, thank you. How you doing? Um, I'm here to drop off a DoorDash order. They're supposed to meet me here. Brevet P. I'm not sure what that is. Brevet? Mm hmm. She said she would meet me here. Yeah. Is it already paid for? Or? Yes, everything is paid for. Okay. okay. She's the nurse, so she'll be on her way up. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. And then you have... when you come, the only door I can unlock is this far door on this side. Oh, okay. Sometimes it clicks, sometimes it won't. Okay. But that's the only one that I can unlock. Okay. All right. All right, sir. Thank you. You, have a good morning, sir. you too. Here. AA. Gotta press this button, it says. Can I help you? Um, I have a door dash for Heather L. Hello. There you go. And I have a food here. Thank you very much. All right, you have a great day. Pizza, 4.8 miles for 8.25. Let's do it. So that's for Patricia L. Thank you. You too. They got me the wrong address, man. What address did they give you? Uh, 1117. Not 1177. Yeah, 1177. Appreciate you. No, it's already paid for. You ain't got to pay for it. Oh, darn it. If you want to tip for that, I mean. He sounds like he has to All right, appreciate you. Yeah. 2.5 miles for 525, even though they're on the blacklist. We're doing what we got to do. Let's get it. Um, I have a DoorDash for John K. DoorDash for John K. Hey, man. Yeah. Uh, That's it. This it right here? John. Yeah. Right here. See where that's the door. Drop that door right there. I didn't want the photo. We already know that. And so, here we go. Terrible one. 11.8 miles for Chili's for 8.50. Let's do it. Hello, Isaiah. This is Jerome with DoorDash. I'm downstairs with your order. Oh, okay. I'll find you guys. Okay. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. You have a good one. You too. Another terrible one. 675 for 9.6 miles. And we have to go to Jewel, pick the order up, and then go pretty far to drop it off. Unfortunately, we're doing it. Here. Let's go. Hello. 
I have a door that pick up for David. David Ki. Okay. Shit, y'all. This type of stuff upsets me, especially when they give you no tip, man. And it's going to a hotel, room 214, which means it's probably some stairs. Let's see if he had the decency to help us. Uh, probably not. There's still like two more bags. Oh, okay. Thank you. You can just put it down. Okay. Thank you. You have a great okay, day. Okay, thank you too. Have a good one. You too. McDonald's, 2.9 miles for 6.75. Let's do it. It is brutal. Go to ask 112. Yeah. My number? 112. The last piece, 112. Thank you. Let's see. We are here in the freezing cold. Hello. Oh, you so Here much. you go. Stay warm. It's freezing. <laughs> Instead of 675, it's 975. That was a great one. Let's get it. 0.5 miles for 475. This is very disrespectful, but we're going to take it. DoorDash 365. Yeah. Number? 365. So rude, guys. Hello. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you. You too. So it is 2.02 p.m. We actually on our way to Jewel to pick up another order. This one is 1775, I think. Let me make sure. This one is 1725. It's 25 items and it's 7.6 miles which isn't that bad but we do have to use a red card to pick up but most of it is fruit and stuff so that's pretty good um to be honest with you guys today i've been getting some pretty bad orders um some okay some good and then quite a few bad ones um right now we're at 81.75 and then we're going to pick this up at a 17.25 so we we're going to be getting right but i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you are subscribed make sure you smash the subscribe button if you are subscribed make sure you give me a thumbs up We'll be back around 4.30 to 5. I have to go edit the video, then we'll be back to it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Ain't no complaining. We maintain it. Let's get it. Jewel order. 25 items, 7.6 miles for 17.25. Let's do it. So we have a lot of stuff over here. My business partner is going to do most of the, well, she's going to help me do most of the shop. It's a lot of fruit. I'm not familiar with grocery stores and all that, so we get to it. So, dropping 1.830, oh, 830, submit that. Raspberries, bananas, pineapple, we're still going. We are here, got everything. They didn't have any plums, but other than that, they had everything. Oh, they didn't have the personal watermelon. They had like a quarter cup watermelon, so we got that. Yeah, time to check out. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's this one. You got it? I guess I got it. Okay. If you want me to help you, I can take it up with you. You okay? It's fine. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. So it is 5.37 p.m. and it's dinner ship. Before we stopped, we were at $99. So we was a day late and a dollar short. By the time we get this money, we'll be having been stepping every order. And it's been going good, but it's been going terrible too. I, honestly, today we had more bad orders than we had good orders, I would say. We did have a great order for that 9.75 at McDonald's down the street. That was pretty, pretty, pretty good. 
Um, but it's time to get back to some. Oh yeah, by the way, if you aren't subscribed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure you stop the video. Give me a thumbs in my eye. Oh, you are. Let's go. First dinner order, 8.2 miles for $8. Please let us get some better ones. Let's do it. For some reason that one went out. I don't know what happened with that. And now we have a Portillo's for 11.50. I don't understand what happened, but it just like went away, disappeared. I know I pressed accept, but Portillo's 9.9 .9 miles for 11.50. Let's do it. Portillo's, I'm gonna have to put my music in there trying to give me the copyright. Don't forget, we're trying to get that thousand subscribers. Let's get busy, baby. Hopefully it's ready. Hello. Here you go, man. You have a good one. We got a Pizza Hut order. Five miles for five fifty. Hopefully, you get us a cash tip. We're gonna see. Let's do it. Y'all see it? This joint got draws to a Pizza Hut. Never seen this one before. Hello. Uh, freezing out here there you go all right thank you you have a good night we got five on it got a mcdonald's order <laughs> 375 for 3.7 miles we're taking it unfortunately make it easy I had to go in this gate. This looks like he got a dog over here just because I was set up. It's a nice yard, man. They want that photo. I already know though. I caught him, ain't even answered, so take that. Open the door. Goodbye. We just got another one. Wendy's 3.1 mile for 775. This one doesn't actually sound that bad. Let's do it. Yeah, this Eskimo off the hood, baby. Wendy's. How you doing? I got a door to ask for Christopher B. It's so nice. They got a nice little setup in here. Got a better. Got a better one than 510. Here we go. I don't know if I've ever been in, in this one before. What it is. Metalli. Metalli. I didn't want that photo. Y'all already know it all. Y'all already know it all. Wolski. Main floor in the hotel. We just got another one. Three miles, five dollars. Let's do it. Joint nasty, ain't it? Oh, nasty. That's your pickup truck. <laughs> that joint is bright. It's nice, real nice. Uh, DoorDash for Fess. Okay. Let's get it. Shake. Ooh. Oh. 
I'm gonna need to get me five in the Let me slow down. I didn't want that photo. Y'all already know that. Barbie off. It's off. For order, 3.7 miles for four dollars. Let's do it. Brought us to McDonald's for the Pizza Hut delivery. I'm not sure if it's right or not, but I googled it and it said this the address. So let's see. I'm gonna find out. You guys wanna find out when I find out. Maribel? Your name Maribel, right? I'm sorry? Maribel? No. No? Oh, it says come here. I don't know. I have to call you her. Call from McDonald's? No. I, this is the uh, DoorDash delivery for Peace Hub, but the address was here. This is, no. I don't know. All right, thank you. Going to McDonald's. I'm here, but. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, yes. The address is. Oh my God. It says, uh, on here it says, they gave us the wrong address on a DoorDash thing. Now I have to call support. I'm. I'm planning to drop it off, but they made me go all the way to another address and I got to go all the way back to the customer. And it's probably going to be, I'm sure it's going to be cold by the time I get there. So we'll see what they said. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. I'll keep you guys updated with everything. Guess what? Don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And if you are subscribed, give me a thumbs up. Let's get it. DoorDash on the phone right now. They have me on hold, but I'm just going to drop this off. Hello. Yes. It's freezing. There you go. Thank you. Have a good one. Did you already drop off the order to the customer's location? Yeah, I just, I just, just dropped it off to her. Yes. All right. Don't worry, as your own, I already have backup a documentation in your account so that there will be no lateness violation in regards to the customer's order because it's not your fault at all. Okay. Okay. All right. So I will not take so much of your time. You're gonna go ahead and proceed with your next dash. And don't worry about this order. I will be the one to take care of your account. There will be no trouble about it. Okay? Okay. All right. You can sit your home and have a great day. Bye bye. Right. You too. Bye bye. So we just dropped off the Pizza Hut delivery. It was a disaster. I'm going to explain to you guys everything that happened. I'm sure you're going to see the clips and everything in the video, but I'm going to break it down to you. So we got the order for four dollars. We went to Pizza Hut. We picked the order up. The address was 1010. It doesn't matter. The address is going to a McDonald's, right? So I'm thinking, me not never working at a fast food restaurant, I didn't know you couldn't bring food from the outside into a restaurant that you work at. But so I'm like, okay, maybe we should just go ahead and take it to the McDonald's. So I get there and all that stuff happens, you guys saw in the video. So then, boom, I call her and I say, hey, how are you doing? So and so. I have your order, it's telling me that it's supposed to be at McDonald's. And then she said, no, the address is this address. So then what happened is I had to turn back around and go all the way pretty much down the street from the Pizza Hut when I had went this way, I had to go back all this way. So I called DoorDash and pretty much what happened is nothing, pretty much. She said that the ladies, the, she's gonna be in trouble or whatever. I don't care about nobody getting in trouble. Where, compensate me. I had to drop all the way over here and they drop all the way over there. I know that they would have probably just canceled the order and I would have probably got paid half for it, but I was already right there by the house by this time because they had put me on hold for so long. So I just gave the lady the pizza and then I can really do it. I don't eat the swan diggity and all that anyway. So I couldn't really do nothing with the pizza and all that. So, but that's what happened with that one. And back to the place. Order 3.8 miles for Wendy's for 325. And it's a great chance that their lobby is going to be closed. I hope this. I hope you guys aren't enjoying me this, with this pain and suffering. And I really do hope that this whole acceptance rate thing helps. But I don't know because it's kind of. I'm kind of skeptical of it because I'm already at a, at a way better percentage than I was, and I'm still getting these terrible orders. So either way it go, let's get to it. Look where we're at, guys. The dining room is closed. So guess what we got to do? Go through the drive-through. I only is only 325. Now we gotta go through the drive through and we're gonna have to wait. It's a decent little line too, as you guys can see. That's what I be talking about. The people who want to spend the least 
want the extras. Not only did you give me no tip, you want me to walk around in the freezing cold all around to the way around to the front of the building. Out of pocket, or I'll tell you. Out of control. Arrived. Stop talking to me, baby. Yeah, I'm alright. Sheesh, it's cold. All right, you have a good one. Zero tip, as you guys can see. DoorDash paid, the base pay is 325. Just got another terrible one, Portillo's. $9 for 10.9 miles. Let's do it. And it's gone. Oh, what's going on? Just like that, we're here. We're supposed to take this by the basement door. So, wait until you guys hear this. So, today was absolutely terrible, just so you guys know. We had a lot of bad orders. Honestly, we had. 95% bad orders. We had about two decent orders and one kind of good order, but it still wasn't a great order. So the one for $17.75, come to find out when I already looked at everything, the $17.75, the guy only tipped us $5 and DoorDash paid the other $12.25. So that's what happened with that order. But let's talk about, before we get to Nightcap, we made $164, if I didn't say that before, but I'm saying it now. We made $164, which, which isn't terrible, but we just got a lot of bad orders today. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not sure about this whole completion rate thing. I'm not sure. I'm not for certain on it because my, oh, let me tell you that too. My completion rate right now is at 62%. When we started the day off, it was at 41. So we, we're getting up there, but I'm still getting terrible orders. So I don't un really understand what's going on, but that is what it is. We're going to talk about story time story time the nightcap so let me tell you what happened when we went to portillo's of course our friend was there i get to portillo's boom i see what the order is the order is four pieces of cake right I go in there first off the lady trying to tell me where i need to park you don't you 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 need you worry about the cash register you got a lot on your plate you already messed up all the orders so you don't need to tell me where i need to park and i don't need to park here this ain't your parking lot i park where i want to park here i'm parking right here and i'm going in there i'm going to get this food you just need to be focused on your job and stop worrying about everything else so I get in there, come to pick up the order. I said, I got an order, order for so-and-so. You guys are not going to see it on the camera because it was copyrighted music going on in there. So boom, I got an order for so-and-so. I tried to tell the other girl, because she was outside when she tried to tell me I can't park right there. I tried to tell the other girl, but she said, the lady's coming in right now. So boom, she get in there. I tell her what the order is. She said, oh, that's a, this is the easy order. You got the cake and all this. This is nothing, right? She already had the stuff in the bag. I take the, okay, I say, okay. So mind you, I can't see what's in the bag. I just know there's cake in there. Get the cake, take it to the car. My business partner get the bag. She said, ain't it supposed to be four pieces of cake in there? She could feel that it's only three. So guess what I got to do? I got to go back in here and tell her it's supposed to be missing. It's missing one of these pieces of cake. She's ah, like, <laughs> sometimes you can't even get mad at people. You don't know why? Because people like that, you have to expect that from them. So I automatically know when she's there, I need to check the order. And to be honest, the reason why I haven't blacklisted Portillo's fully is because it usually have a decent payout. It's just that when she get there, I know for sure I need to check the order. So that's what happened. Um, I don't know, guys. This whole completion rate thing, I don't know. We still gonna, we still gonna go through all of it. It's 62%. We're gonna see if I can get to like 90%. We're gonna see what happened. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, if you want to subscribe, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you are subscribed, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're back on the grind to the end of time. It's DDK, and I'm on my way.